Hi and welcome to a new video. It is important to use strong passwords instead of just using the same passwords on every account. The more complex your passwords are, the more protected and safer you are from threats. To remember them all, you can use a password manager. One good choice is the built-in password manager from Apple called Keychain. In this video, I'll show you how iCloud Keychain works to help you remember all your passwords across different Apple devices, like your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Let's go! With iCloud Keychain, you sync your login information across all your devices connected to your iCloud. To enable it, open Settings on your iPhone or iPad. Tap on your Apple ID at the top, press iCloud, then choose Keychain and activate it. Once you enable this feature, all your saved login information, which includes your email address, username, credit card numbers, and password will be stored in your iCloud. Of course, all the stored information is encrypted on Apple servers, so there is no way to have access to the passwords without your Apple ID. On an iPhone or iPad, it works pretty much the same. To view the saved passwords, go to Settings and scroll down to Passwords. If you have iOS 13 or earlier versions installed, select Passwords and Accounts instead. Enter your passcode or use Face ID, and then you will be presented with a list that contains your passwords. These are from the websites you may have signed in or signed up in the past. Remember that these are only stored locally on your device if you do not have Keychain enabled. A useful feature is Autofill Passwords, so make sure to activate it. I'll show you later in this video how to use it. You can always manually add an entry to the list by tapping on the plus button at the top. Now type in the website, username, and choose password. As you can see, Keychain is suggesting a randomly generated password. You can use this if you're creating a new account for a website. But if you already have an account for that website, just enter your own password instead. Then confirm with Done to save your entry. Another feature that was added with the software update from iOS 15.4, which lets you add notes to your passwords. Under Account Options, you can click Add Notes, and you can now type in any text like bank details or other information. This way, it's easier to copy and paste it whenever you need it. If you long press an account, you can easily copy the username or password. You can also delete the entire account if you don't need it anymore. So, how will all of this help you? Let's say you're trying to log into a website. With autofill passwords enabled, you can autofill your login information. This means that you don't have to manually type in your username and password if it's already saved in your passwords list. Tap on the username field and on your keyboard, click on the key icon. To confirm, you'll need to enter your passcode, face ID, or touch ID, whichever you have enabled. Then you'll see the list of your saved passwords. Choose the right one and both the username and password are auto-filled in the website. After signing in, you'll be asked if you want to store the password on your iCloud keychain. Tap on Save Password so that you can use them when you're on another device with your iCloud account. As I mentioned earlier, you can also use the built-in password manager to generate strong passwords when creating a new account on a website. In this demo, I'll create an account on Instagram using the Safari browser. Enter your email address and complete the confirmation process. When you tap on the Password field, instead of showing your keyboard, it will ask if you want to use a strong password instead. In the Password field, a randomly generated password is already filled in. If you don't want to use this, click on Choose My Own Password. After you are done creating your account, it will automatically add this website along with your password to your keychain. To give a summary, since you have activated this feature, other devices connected to your iCloud with keychain enabled can access your passwords list and vice versa. This means if you create an account on a website using your iPhone and you want to log in using your iPad or Mac, 
you can use the auto fill function to log in. You can follow the same steps on your iPad, but it's a little different on a Mac. On your Mac, click on the little Apple icon at the top left corner, then tap on System Preferences, and now on Apple ID. On your iCloud settings, tick the checkbox Keychain. Now, when you log in on a website, you know it is saved on your password manager, you can use the autofill function. Open Safari and go to the website you want to sign in. Click the key icon on the side and open your passwords. Enter your user password or use Touch ID instead. Then choose the right website on the list and confirm it with Fill. Now you can log in without typing your username or your password. To access the password manager on your Mac, go back to System Preferences. Then click on Passwords and enter your user password or use Touch ID. You can select a saved password and when you hover over the password, the password reveals itself. Here you can also add new passwords to the keychain. With dozens or maybe hundreds of passwords you need to remember, setting up your keychain will definitely help you save time and be more secure. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.